So, welcome to another video aimed at uh, tips to help you improve your riding, to make you a safer, better rider. Now then, anybody who's thought about uh, becoming a better rider or has read any of the advanced uh, riding manuals will be very aware of the term IPSCA. IPSCA is that uh, model that every advanced riding scheme uses. It's I for information. Information being everything we see and take in about the world around us, the road in front of us, road signs, etc. P, position. Position is about how we position ourselves for the hazard based on the information that we've gained. S, speed, that's the speed as we approach and ride through whatever hazard it is that we've seen um, through the information and positioned for. Gear, you've, G, sorry, you've guessed it, that's the gear, so we're in the right gear for the speed and the position for the hazard based on the information that we saw before and continue to see through the hazard. And once we've got through that hazard, there's the A, which is acceleration. It's all about uh, leaving the hazard. Not like a drag racer, but just moving away in a controlled manner from the hazard. Keep using the term hazard. Anything's a hazard. Um, junctions, roundabouts, uh, an overtake, that's a moving hazard. The car is a moving hazard. Um, oncoming vehicles, bends, they're all what we would turn hazards. Anything that might cause us to deviate or change our uh, position or speed on the road is a hazard. That's all well and good. So we all have a common base that we understand. Um, so coming up to a bend, I'll look down the road, I'll try and read the severity of the bend, that's the information, there'll be road signs about the severity of the bend, I'll try and take that all in. Then I'll position for that bend, whether it be a left hand or a right hand bend, do I position near side, do I position off side, do I position to an extreme off side if I can see a little way around the bend, or do I <laughs> position less extreme. Remembering we always but always position for safety first and everything else follows on from that. So all those things are good but uh, there's another little letter I'd like to add in there. This came about uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was an observer for a West Midlands police initiative bike safe helping out add up the, add numbers to the number of observers that the police could field on the day and I sat in on the morning lecture and the police motorcyclist giving the lecture was an experienced rider and sure enough up came Ipska but he added something else in there that I personally took away and thought was extremely valuable. And that was R. And the R that he added was an R for review. So once we've done all of the Ipska stuff on the road, Sometimes we do it really well, sometimes not so well, sometimes it might be we do it absolutely terribly. And how do we improve? How do we improve the next time we go out on the road? Well, as he quite rightly said, and as I do all the time, we review our ride. 
I'm not talking about reviewing every corner as we go. How did I do on that last corner? How was I on that last junction? How was I on that last roundabout? It's just not going to work. It's not going to be any fun, and you're going to be distracted whilst you should, in fact, be considering the road ahead. So the review he's talking about is, once you've finished your ride, think about it. And you will definitely remember the things you didn't do so well. You'll probably remember the things you did really well. But ask yourself, why didn't I get that corner right? Why did I stop at that junction unnecessarily when I could have just kept moving? How could I have made better progress through the town by reading the roundabouts better? Review your ride, ask yourself some questions and put it into practice the next time you go out. One thing I'd say that really helps my personal reviews is I have an Inov C5 front facing camera and it automatically re records every ride I do and if my rides haven't been quite right or there's been something I was unhappy about in the middle of the ride I have the luxury of being able to go to the footage play back the bit I'm not happy with and actually review what it was I did wrong. Did I miss a sign that was telling me of a severe bend coming up? Um, did I miss traffic approaching a junction? All of these things I can see in the luxury of my own home on the computer. So. IPSCA, information, position, speed, gear, acceleration, and R, review. So that's my tip for improving your riding. It's not a hard one. In fact, it gives you the chance to ride your ride twice. Give it a go. What have you got to lose? Bye for now.